We can think of calculating the ATAR as a two-stage process. So in the first stage, we get your marks um, you have achieved on your subjects from NASA, and then we scale these marks. In the second stage, we sum up the best 10 units of your scale marks to get an aggregate for you. We can then rank all the, our students based on the aggregate, and then we give them ATARs. Now, a lot of people ask me how, why we need scaling. And the simple reason is that we need scaling because students are doing different combinations of HSC courses. In fact, each year we expect around 27,000 unique HSC combinations taken by our ATAR students. Um, with students being free to choose their own set of HSC courses to do, it means that each HSC course will be taken by a different group of students. And this also means that the group of students will have a different level of average academic ability. So you can imagine that it will be much harder to get a good position on a course where all the other students are quite strong academically versus on another course where students are weaker academically. So what scaling does is to remove these differences in the average academic ability of the students between courses. Your scale mark reflects how well you have done compared with all the other students if everyone had done the same course with you. So scaling is really designed to ensure that students are not advantaged or disadvantaged by choosing one HSC course over another.